I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. All right, so we have three manuscripts to equip, but we only have one available. So let's take this point in logic and get this going. So we have to get to the wharf. We're carrying the spear that we chose, and I'm assuming that it is the correct one because at the end of the last mission it said it was a success. So I don't think there's a problem there. We had a couple failures because we for whatever reason, chose, um, wait one second here, yeah, for whatever reason, we ended up not finding all of the spears and didn't get all the information, Billy oh Shane, no, sticking your nose everywhere I get, wow, what's the matter with him, excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you, I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal, why, what are you talking about, I am talking about what you are doing, this conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. How do people know so that we can hit him? Or make him see sense? I'm not gonna hit Napoleon. Look. I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting oh, rid of me so easily, Derichet. Where have you been? Looking for my mother, or else what? I got lost in the basement. Trust me. Well, we're just going to say we... Oh, actually, let's use this. And we'll say... Trust me. Did Lord Mortimer tell you you could trust me? Yes, but... So, I'm working for him right now. And you're wasting my time with your questions. I... Look, if he hasn't taken you into his confidence, then you shouldn't know yet. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying or Give I will call the servants. Give him another rare object. Give him a rare manuscript. Get him in a muddle. We give nothing. We can give him another rare object. We can satisfy him. If we can give him a rare manuscript. Encyclopedia. Oh, we don't want to give him that. <laughs> Let's give him the encyclopedia. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. Okay, well, we gave up our encyclopedia, but I'm okay with that. We got to keep the lance. And I did not want to mess that part up. So let's head out to the wharf, which we want to go this way. I'm sure we're going to get stopped a couple more times. So we got to get back through the library. And then we'll have to go back through the dining area. Hopefully we don't run into anybody in here. I don't see anybody. Oh, no, there's somebody there. Who's that? Oh, we just have to get to our mother. I'm not even going to take a chance. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Oh, this is not good. All right. Well, we have to. We have to speak to him. There's no way out of that. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. I wanted you 
Oh no, your hand! <laughs> Damn it, no! So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. Uh, that is... The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? And it's false, say nothing, and she says the truth. We'll say and it's false. So you're going to tell me she's wrong, and that she's a liar? She's right. Oh. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. He is the devil. Since when have the demons been among us? How many of you are there? Do they manipulate thoughts so, so we can't... Yeah. Other questions. What other questions? How can I believe him? Why tell me all of this? What's happening with my mother? What are their intentions regarding men? What exactly is a demon? Well, first let's ask what a demon is. How would you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm, good question. What is your area of expertise? Physics, biology, philosophy. I am not a scientist. Let's say, oh, they're all gonna cost us two points. Let's go with biology. I would say biology. So, I would class demons along with parasites. The comparison's not very flattering. You live inside a host and you feed on that host, do you not? A large number of parasites are essential to the survival of their bearer, you know. We do indeed choose a host, we enter inside them, and we evolve with them. But if you prefer a more philosophical approach, or a more poetical one, consider us as an idea. We are an idea that penetrates the human spirit. But in fact, in no way are we a danger for our hosts. Quite the contrary, we strengthen them. Right, so... Let's look at our previous questions. Since when have the demons been among us? You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. So we have to speak about certain historical events that we don't have enough points for. So let's go back. Do they manipulate thoughts? And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. To what end? What are these powers exactly? Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. To what end? And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. Say rubbish, or what do you mean? Uh, I don't want to use all our points yet. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Okay. How many of you are there? Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 
133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. He is the devil. You're the devil incarnate. The devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. That folklore? Okay, we're just gonna go back, see what other questions. How can I believe him? Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. Oh, sounds like we're gonna be seeing something. So why tell me all this? But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. What are their intentions regarding man? men? What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. And what's happening with my mother? What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. How did he react to that? That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. Apparently being a demon means that your lips don't move the right way when you talk. <laughs> was it Alazif? The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Alazif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. And so we did all of that. And it looks like we did everything here. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. Why a conference instead of imposing your will upon us? Was Von Borcher working for you? Is there a connection with, with Elizabeth? I'm curious about Elizabeth. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, Sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. Well, we can use our logic, so we'll say so then. You're the one who killed her. The poor girl was condemned, Louis. Don't you think it better that she stopped living like a slave, being mentally raped by my father since the day she was born? She was suffering. 
and there was no way to help her. <sighs> you know, he's not wrong. Maybe you're right. So was Von Borchert working for you? So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis, and with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Borchert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. And why a conference instead of imposing your will upon us? If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but... After living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. How do they decide on global policy? Uh, I don't want to use our skills here. And with global policy, they just meet up with world leaders, obviously. Pass. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh. Haven't you guessed yet? Absolutely not. He needs me. He wants to retrieve the spear. He needs the support of the Order. I can see where he's going with this. Uh, okay, we'll use our logic here. I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean... Am I a demon? Would you like that? <laughs> yes or no? Well, we might get our hand back. And we say no. You know what? I haven't watched any other walk through the throughs of this, but I have to I have a feeling this is the least popular answer, so we're gonna say yes. I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I... Oh. What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Whoa. Liar! Oh, is that Jacques Peru? Well, well. So 
Now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray oh, no. you. You're just like him. Oh no, and we don't have enough points. So I'm not like Mortimer. Mortimer is lying. I'd also like to know what's happening. How can that human dare to threaten me? <laughs> I'd also like to know what's happening. Monsieur Pellu, I don't even know what this yes. is all about. It's quite simple. You're like them. If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I'd prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm, I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. They will corrupt you. It's inevitable. And I won't be able to resist, like you are now? Uh, well... Give me the benefit of the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Nothing, I'm still the same. Make him believe that you already knew that it won't make any difference. What difference does it make to him? And so say nothing, we're still the same. Wait, Jack! Oh, if it yes. weren't for me, you, you'd be dead by now. You've seen who I am, and this so-called revelation makes no difference. I'm not a slave to my birth, and I refuse to pretend to be a victim. I am Louis de Richet. Do you really believe you've got enough strength to resist him? I am who I am. Only our actions truly define us. And you can threaten me all you want. It won't make any difference. Don't change, Louis. You're strong. I wasn't able to make it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. If he shoots me, there'll be no one to stop Mortimer. Your daughter will grow up without a father. We know about his daughter. I would be a good demon. <laughs> he doesn't know Mortimer very well, in fact. Demons will always exist. We'll talk, we'll mention his daughter. You're going to be yes, held accountable, and you will lose everything, starting with your freedom, and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Not about yourself, maybe, but what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up, shut up! She will be alone in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <laughs> it's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. <laughs> Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this lady. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. So he's not a terrible demon. You let him leave. Shaken up, you've experienced many significant events since your arrival. Yes, yes we have. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But. All in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside. 
but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound, very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Oh, no. Being a demon isn't so bad after all. It's, it's a detective, of course. <laughs> but I would break their spirit, wouldn't I? But it would be a violation of their privacy, wouldn't it? But I'm more curious about their spirit. But I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no. Nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Wow, okay. That is a huge development. So, thoughts reading. You are now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors? <laughs> what? Each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vul vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Okay. So, let's not do that. Oh, yeah, we're not. We're just going to go. You're right. I need to go now. <laughs> see you later, Lord Mortimer, or see you later, Father. Well, I like the idea of having a dad. <laughs> see you later, Father. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Wow. Oh boy. Well, that... It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. Okay. That was a breaking development. We're going to cure our negative alteration. And let's get down to the wharf here and talk with who we thought was our mother. I had a suspicion throughout this entire walkthrough that she wasn't what she claimed to be. But this is a little bit different than what I expected. Oh, Emily's down here. Or Emma, we aren't sure. Oh no! No, mother! Louis, it was an accident, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. She attacked me. I... I didn't want to hurt her. What happened? I was on the wharf. It was dark. She seemed to be preparing to depart. 
I moved closer. I wanted us to talk, but as soon as she saw me, she threatened me. I wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to Emma. I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you? She's lying. I want to know what she said to her. Did she say anything before she died? I didn't understand everything. She was in a blind rage. She pointed her pistol at me. She spoke to me as if I were you and called me Louis. She said you look so much like her and that she was so proud to have a son like you. Did my mother say how proud she was to have me for a son? That's right. She's lying or she got even. We'll say she got even. You wanted to get even for Emma's death. You killed her, admit it. Louis, stop. I swear that's what happened. You were frightening me. That's enough. Get out of here, Emily. I never want to see you again. Oh, we are going to get the opportunity to read her thoughts now. Oh, I thought we were going to go back. Oh, wow. Well, we ended up with some failures that time. So, successes. Stopped Napoleon Bonaparte from getting the lance. Persuaded Jacques Peru not to shoot. Found out about my demon nature. Fails. I did not arrive in time to save Sarah de Richet. I did not stop Lady Hillsborough from shooting Sarah de Richet. I did not find out about Sarah de Richet's lie. I could have had a discussion with Manuel Godoy. Wow. Well, that is crazy. Because they, I, I was hoping that we were going to be able to go back and actually use our new skill, but it didn't let us. So We did get a level, at least. And we have four points. So now... Let's see, what do we have here? Cultism. I'm going to put a point there to bump that up. We have three more points, and... I'm going to put them all in the manipulation. And manuscripts to equip. But we don't have any manuscripts to equip. <laughs> so we're just going to move on. 